We have team coverage spread out across Southeast Michigan tonight. But we begin with 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels. She is live in center line where there were some <laughs> tense moments. Sarah. <laughs> Carolyn, Mike, it's been an extremely emotional day here in center line. Just moments ago, a fight broke out. It was right next to us right here. Now, I didn't see the beginning of it, but UAW members tell me that this car pulled up and the people inside started throwing drinks at UAW members, yelling racial slurs and trying to instigate a fight. Now, you can see from this video that a fight did happen. The good news is we saw everything go down. It seems as though nobody was seriously hurt. Emotions have been high all day in Centerline. Earlier today, UAW President Sean Fain joined the picket line, energizing UAW workers and essentially talking about backing the big three into a corner. I mean, I, I wouldn't call it friendly. That's how UAW President Sean Fain characterized his talks with the big three automakers Friday. At 10 a.m., he announced that 38 General Motors and Solantis parts distribution centers will be added to the strike. However, Fain spared Ford, saying that they are making good progress in negotiations. What do you tell Americans who are going to start feeling the impacts of this at home? That this is as much about them as it is anybody else. This is not just about the UAW and our auto workers. This is about working class people all over this country, all over this world. Sparing Ford was the first move in Fain's strategy of using the automakers against one another. Leaked text messages exposed by the Detroit News Thursday show a close aide to Fain writing, if we can keep them wounded for months, they don't know what to do. The beauty is we've laid it all out in the public and they're still helpless to stop it. This is really a, a somewhat modest ratcheting up the pressure, but it is significant in the sense that it's putting the companies to compete against each other. Analyst Merrick Masters says that Fain is sending a message to companies that he isn't crippling them just yet, but reserving the option and giving them more time to make what he thinks are fair proposals. If all 146,000 UAW workers were to strike now, it would be disastrous. Each company would lose about $500 million a week. And one company, company-wide strike, uh, the loss of about 50,000 jobs in Michigan. Masters says the targeted strike has all the makings of a long strike. Meanwhile, GM and Stellantis have expressed frustrations on union leadership, adding that they've already laid out historic offers. The days of the billionaire class and the corporate class running away with all the profits while we're all left behind scraping to get by paycheck to paycheck, those days have to end. Fain says that negotiations will continue throughout the weekend. I just spoke to some UAW members who were in that fight. UAW members who had racial slurs yelled at them and drinks thrown at them. Though they are shaken, they tell me they will stay here and they will continue to fight. Live in Centerline, Sarah Michaels, 7 Action News.